Hey, what's going on everybody? We are back with another video here with the Hustle Buddies channel where we share tools, tips, and advice for Amazon sellers to grow your businesses. Stay tuned. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down three things. First, I wanna talk about the state of Amazon in general. Where are we at right now? What can we expect? What are some things to watch out for and some trends that we're seeing right now, okay? Then I wanna talk about one of the most ridiculous categories that a lot of people we know have been just crushing it with, and that is groceries. We're gonna be talking about um, some trends we're seeing with that. Again, what can we expect moving forward? Um, how to get into it if you're not there and all of that. And then lastly, if you stay till the very end of the video, I'm gonna be going over my bold predictions for the rest of the year as far as what categories I think are going to just get better and better and, and be sort of this year's hot categories as people start coming out of lockdowns, all right? So let's dive into this. First, the state of Amazon right now. There have been so many changes uh, between FBA being shut down, uh, FBA coming back, quantities being limited, and all of that. So I want to sort of tell you guys where we're at right now. Currently, as of today, you are allowed to send pretty much anything in FBA. Now, with that said, Amazon is very backed up. They are limiting quantities still. You probably can't send in a thousand of that toothbrush that's been selling well, but you can send in quite a few, okay? So they're limiting quantities and their shipping times on some items are still pretty backed up. We were just looking a couple days ago. There was something that Amazon said was in stock, but our estimated arrival date for getting it shipped to us was October, which is ridiculous, all right? So Amazon is definitely still backed up. They have not uh, cleared their entire pipeline yet. They're working on it. I expect to see most of that cleared up in the coming weeks, but as of today, it's not yet cleared up. So because of that, most sellers we know have shifted into predominantly doing more FBM than FBA. Now you don't necessarily have to choose one or the other, but the reason why a lot of sellers have shifted into FBM for now is because we like the control of getting our customers the items immediately as soon as they order it without having to rely on Amazon's warehouses to pack and prep and ship and all of that. Okay, now with that said, I do want to explain that again, we've had a lot of people asking, oh, which should I do, FBA or FBM? There's, it doesn't have to be a this or that. You can actually list an item as both FBA and FBM. Now you can't do two FBAs or two FBMs, but it's okay to do one and the other. And it, it's just, it doesn't have to be an either or, okay? They're different beasts, they're different models. They both work fine and they can both be done simultaneously, okay? FBA, obviously Amazon is doing a significant amount of the work. So you're gonna be paying them more money on that end. FBM, sometimes you can make a little bit extra on shipping. So different items can be profitable uh, with different methods, okay? All right, so that's sort of the state of where we're at currently. Now for groceries, many of our friends have shifted heavily into groceries. It is a ridiculous category. The past uh, 50 or so days, it's basically been every day was Black Friday. Like Black Friday level sales, but it hasn't ended and it's been, been nonstop, all right? So groceries has been absolutely ridiculous. And it's, you don't even need to be selling things that uh, some people may deem essential, okay? You can be selling junk food. Oreos have been just crushing it. Uh, Nutella, Pop-Tarts, all sorts of sugary snacks, okay? People have their kids at home, they don't know what to do with them, and so they're just loading them up with junk food to keep them happy, <laughs> all right? So groceries has been absolutely incredible. If you've been a part of that, you would have seen the huge spikes. If you are not yet into groceries or maybe you're restricted in groceries, we did a video a couple months back about how to get ungated in grocery. Basically anyone can do it. Um, it's not very hard. It does not cost very much money. Maybe, I don't know, like 20 bucks for all the items you'll have to get. Um, but we did a whole video on it. So check out our channel. Um, it should be how to get ungated in groceries in 2020 and just do a search for that on our channel. Okay. If you're ungated in groceries, or even if you're not, 
and you really want to just dive in head first. I mean, you want to master this category. Maybe you've been selling for a while and, and you've been doing like clothing and things like that and, and you're trying to pivot more into groceries because you keep seeing these stories and you keep seeing these posts on our Facebook group about people getting ridiculous numbers, all right? Uh, we put together a masterclass for the grocery category. It's uh, It covers everything from retail arbitrage to online arbitrage to the wholesale to creating your own listings, your own bundles, getting GTIN exemptions, all of that complicated stuff, it's all done in the course. So whether you're sort of a beginner and you're looking to get into groceries for the first time, or you've been selling for a while and you're really looking for some sort of like deep dive class that can give you all the information you need to know about this category, you can check that out. It's over on our website, hustlebuddiesofficial.com. I'm gonna put a link for it down in the uh, description as well that you can check out, all right? So again, groceries, ridiculous. Now, I do wanna say as we start moving out of the nationwide lockdown, groceries is not going to be as ridiculous. Now, we've been selling groceries for years. It's not like all of a sudden two months ago we started selling them for the very first time. No, no, no. We've been selling them for years. Groceries has always been profitable and it will continue to be profitable. Will it be as profitable? No, but nothing lasts like that, okay? Every bubble pops, every low bounces back and every high comes back down. It's just the market equalizing, okay? The market will equalize but it will still be profitable. So even if you have not been selling the past 50 days, you don't need to worry about missing out and all of that. There is still tons of money to be made. We are still making plenty on products, even ones that other sellers have jumped on, all right? So there is plenty to go around, guys. Okay, lastly, what I wanna go over is my bold predictions for the rest of the year. Now, I wanna add the kavat that these are just my personal opinions. I'm not guaranteeing anything here. It's just what I personally will be watching, what categories I will be looking at going into the rest of 2020, okay? So first is going to be toys. Now toys are already selling really well, but kids are not going back to school. They're going into summer. <laughs> Parents are still looking for ways to keep their kids occupied. So toys is going to continue being a very lucrative, high velocity category. I personally think especially toys that are more group games, so things like board games, where as we start coming out of this lockdown, there's gonna be more kids getting together with their friends and doing stuff, or outdoor games, things that you can be doing with your friends. I think those are gonna be very, very, very popular as people start coming back together all across the country. All right, so that's my first prediction. The next prediction that I think is gonna be doing pretty well is gonna be more high-end electronics, and this is what I mean by that. I think a lot of people got into either distance learning or they're working from home, and when they first got into it, no one knew how long this pandemic was gonna last. No one knew if this was gonna be a long-term thing or, or just a week or two or something like that. And so most likely, I think a lot of people got the low-end budget equipment for a lot of this stuff. As we continue on, I think people are going to be upgrading that equipment because low-end webcams are low-end webcams. People wanna upgrade that webcam. You wanna upgrade your mic, your keyboard, your laptop, all of that stuff. So I think that type of um, like home office or home learning equipment, I think the, uh, the higher quality pieces of that are going to be selling really, really well as we continue into 2020, as people start upgrading because we're still in this, okay? And lastly, and this is my biggest, most out there, boldest prediction, is tools, okay? So tools, why I say tools is, so obviously this pandemic has hit the economy. It's going to continue hitting the economy. We're not out of it yet, or it's not like we're in some perfect rebound. No, the economy is still going to continue on a downward slope. With that said, I think the housing market is going to be right behind it. When the housing market crashes, there's going to be a huge surge in new home buyers, like my wife and I, uh, young folks that have stockpiled money that have been waiting for a housing crash so that they can buy up fixer-uppers and start fixing them and doing DIY projects and things like that on these uh, older rundown houses that people are having to foreclose and liquidate on, okay? So with that said, I think that these home improvement type of tools are going to start selling really well. Things like drills and saws and all sorts of stuff that you can find at Lowe's clearance aisle or Home Depot's clearance aisle, okay? So that is my boldest prediction. Let me know in the comment section below, what do 
you think is going to be sort of this year's uh, biggest categories? Besides for groceries, we, we already know that that's been huge, but what do you think about the rest of 2020? Um, what are some of the categories that you think? So drop your opinion down in the comment section below. Um, also head over to our Facebook group. That's facebook.com slash groups slash hustle buddies and join the conversation over there. We've got 14,000 people that are all talking about their businesses, all giving tips, all asking questions. It's a fantastic community, just really uplifting and, and a positive place to learn. So make sure to check that out. And if you haven't yet, thumbs up and subscribe to this video and push that little bell icon at the bottom right. And that way you'll get notified of any future videos that we put out. I know it's been a while since I put out a video. We've been really busy with FBM. We're doing 200 orders a day. We finalized our adoption with our kiddos. So we've been busy, but over the next coming weeks, I will be putting out more videos and more content. And if you subscribe and hit the bell icon, you will get notified anytime a new one goes out. All right. Thanks for watching guys. We will see you out there.